Oh, good morning, friends. We'll start PF Highway 101. Onwards. Courts and legal requirements vary from one jurisdiction to another. An RBI assessment is a team based process. From the understanding of risks, an inspection program may be designed that optimizes the use of inspection and plant maintenance, plant maintenance resources. The result of managing the and reducing risk are all following except inspection deferral. Reducing inspection cost is usually not the primary objective of an RBI assessment, but it is frequently a side effect of optimization. More effective infrequent inspections may be substituted for less effective frequent inspections too. RBI focuses support on areas where greatest risks exist. Changing metallurgy of components can reduce POF. Reduce or limiting available inventories can reduce UF. And give me one minute, please. Okay. An RBI assessment may be new equipment or a new project, while the design stage may yield important information on potential risk. This may allow potential risk to be minimized by design and have this based inspection plan in place of prior actual installation. Facilities approaching the end of their economic and operating service life are special cases where application of RBI can be very useful. The end of life case of plant operation is about gaining the maximum remaining economic benefit from the assess, asset without undue personal, environmental, and financial risk. The scope of an RBI assessment may vary between the entire refinery plant and a single comp component within single piece of equipment. Typically, RBI is done in multiple places. A multiple pieces of equipment is the entire processing unit rather than a single component. In the scope of RBI assessment, a multi-unit facility, the first step is in the application of RBI, a screening of entire processing units to rank relative risk. It is often advantageous, advantageous to group equipment within a process unit into systems, loops, circuits, where common environmental operating conditions exist based on process chemistry, pressure and temperature, metallurgy, equipment design, and operating history. Block flow and process flow diagrams of the unit may be used to identify the systems including information about metallurgy, process conditions, credible damage mechanisms, and historical problems. 
In most plants, a large percentage of total unit risk will be concentrated in a relatively small percentage of the equipment items. These potential high risk items should receive greater attention in the risk assessment. An emergency system, player system, emergency shutdown systems are included in RBI assessment. Their service conditions during both during both routine operation and offset should be considered. The purpose of established operational boundaries is to identify key process parameters that may impact deterioration. Process condition during startup and shutdown can have significant effect on the risk of a plant, especially when they are more severe, likely to cause accelerated deterioration than normal conditions and as such should be considered for all equipment covered by RBI assessment. A good example is polyionic acid stress corrosion cracking. Polythionic, sorry. The normal operating conditions may be most easily provided if there is a process flow model of massive balance available or the plant or process unit. The normal operating conditions may be most easily provided <coughs> if most easily provided if there is a process flow model for mass balance flow model or mass balance available for the plant and process unit. Changes in the process such as pressure, temperature or fluid composition resulting from unit abnormal or upset conditions should be considered in the RBI assessment. The precision of the data should be consistent with the RBA method used. The RBA study may be used qualitative, semi-quantitative or qualitative, quantitative approach. A fundamental difference between these approaches is the amount and detail of input calculations and output. 
Generally, a quantitative analysis using broad ranges requires a high level of judgment, skill, and understanding. Then from user, then a more quantitative approach. QRA uses logic models depicting combination of events that could result in severe accidents and physical models depicting the progression of accidents and the transport of a hazardous material to the environment. A semi-quantitative analysis typically requires the same type of data as the current quantitative analysis were generally not, a de not as detailed. The data quality has a direct relation to the relative accuracy of the RBI analysis. The true in an inspection program data validation essential for a number of reasons. Except among the reasons of inspection data quality errors are all of the following except high corrosion rate. Means due to high corrosion rate. Data validation is essential. For others, we are not doing for RBI. Unfortunately, when data validation step has not been priority before RBI, the time required to get it to do it gets included in the time and resources necessary to do a good job on RBI, leaving the wrong impression that some managers believe that RBI is more time consuming and expensive than it should be. The selection of type of codes and standards used by a facility can have significant impact on RBI results. It is important to stress that precision of data should be matched match the complexity of RBI method used. Damage mechanism in the hydrocarbon process industry are addressed in API 571. Failure modes identify how damage component will fail. The RBI team should consult with the corrosion specialist. To define the equipment damage mechanisms. Identifying trace consultant constituents PPM in addition to the primary constituency in a material process process sorry process can be very important as the trace constituents can have significant effect on damage mechanisms. One sec. Credible damage mechanism has been identified. The associated temperature should also be identified. Mm. 
in some cases damage by one mechanism may progress to a point at which a different mechanism takes over and begins to dominate the rate of damage the probability analysis of rbi program is performed to estimate the probability of specific adverse consequences resulting from loss of containment that occurs due to damage mechanism It should be noted that damage mechanisms are not the only causes of loss containments. Other causes of loss containments could include, but are not limited to all except the following. Truck of loading. What is that? I don't know. Something. Bakwas. Seismic activities, design errors, sabotage. Okay. It should be noted that damage mechanism are not only cause of loss of containment. Same, same. Do it. The process of integrating inspection data or other changes into risk analysis, reassessment. Terms referenced by which is significance of risk is assessed, risk criteria. An individual group or organization that may affect, be affected by and perceives itself to be affected by the risk stakeholders. Risk is probability into consequences. It is really useless because no drawing here. Leave it. The RBA represent the next generation inspection approaches and intervals due to debt set setting, risk, recognizing the ultimate goal of inspection is the safety and reliability of inspection facilities, operating facilities, sorry. If a risk is not acceptable, acceptable consider mitigation. In the figure below, the green arrow represents consequence. I'll leave it this because no arrow, nothing. Only to understand how the questions are coming. If a quantitative RBI study is conducted rigorously, And properly, the result risk number should be a fair approximation of the actual risk of loss of containment due to deterioration. The objective of RBI is to determine what incident could occur consequence in the event of an equipment failure and how likely probability is it is that incident could happen. Okay, we'll stop here.